street space issues, Sparky's concrete work. Hey, um, what I know is we just got done spending I don't know how much it is per corner, but they either tore that up and filled it in. I mean, why did we spend that much money to let them just do that? Are we going to let them just do that? It wasn't on their they asked us, and Jerry and I went down there and looked at it, and we thought that it made more sense to have cement down there than to have the mud and the water standing on the highway the way it was. Mm -hmm. And I've received a lot of compliments the way the cement work is down there. Well, that's just going to promote people escaping the, going around that corner, doing a legal turn, because I know everybody used to do that, and I'm sure they're going to do it again. That's not going to say anything we change is going to stop it. They did when they couldn't drive through there because there was a hole there, or the plantings. Maybe just like down here. And it also sets a bad precedent for the rest of the corners, too, because then now everybody has to say, hey, look at Sparky's. Now we can just do, you let them do it. Pull my corner back, too. That's my point, I guess. Well, the whole purpose of it was is so that they can get off their side street parking instead of everybody having to come in. You parking the right way. There are signs down there, no parking in the public right away. That's DOT. That is not our, that's not our right away. That's DOT right away. Then why is that park at Moore's Market in front of there? It's not, it's not legal. They do it. But they, well, see the signs down there? They got signs for no truck, no parking there. Trucks. What's the difference between a car and a truck? We have no truck parking because they were littering or they were filling up our main street with trucks overnight. What was the purpose of the no truck parking? Am I right, Jerry? You're right. It's it's not illegal to park along there. It's that would be no different there than what it is along Main Street in front of all the businesses. Then that would all be illegal. Trucks are still pulling over right. in front of these places, too. All right, and that's something that we got to take up with the sheriff's department. Are, I mean, that just seems like a waste to me to throw what you think a street corner cost of you, 2500 bucks. Throw that out the window. Hey, thanks, Mr. Raymond. But we don't have the water standing in the highway. We don't have all the mud. Well, I bet if you didn't have people driving across it in the first place. How are you going to stop them? I'm sure there are better ways to do that than to tear up or just throw away $2,500 worth of cement and work. I, I, just, Dustin, I do like the <coughs> cement down there. The only thing that my concern is is the street light may be taken out, but that's my only concern. That's the first thing my husband said. If it's but I do out, like the cement. Then who's going to have to pay for it? The one that takes it out. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, well, let me go. You know, I don't know. It's the same the amount of liability as a stop sign. I mean, if they're going to wipe I, out that street light, they're going to hit the stop sign, they're going to hit Sparky sign, they're going to... I've looked I mean, at that and looked at that, and it just seems so much handier the way it is, but mm -hmm. my concern is the street light. But it was tiled, right? Yes, it was tiled. Right. Yeah, for all this expense. So now what do you think? I am okay with it. That's why I'm okay. not saying anything. It makes a lot more room for parking, and, and there's more and parking. have to cater to a business to a certain extent. But no, I guess I'm not over. talking about the whole street. I'm just talking about between the street light, where the and flower the garden was, the, street light and the, the flower plantings were until they got run over because it, it didn't. With last year's snow, it got covered up, and then it everybody just started grass. driving through it. Yeah, What'd you really say, Jerry? It was just grass. There, there was no plantings in there. there no, was no, it was just grass. Just grass. Okay. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah. Because we didn't do. I have an intention. Let's do everything on Morris Market corner. Maybe. Mm -hmm. No, there was, but they could be very long. No, no they didn't there. want anything done, and they were at the meeting. And I remember that Jim did not want anything. They were going to do flowers, and they did not want anything done. So they advised, they revised the plans. Because I remember Jim talking about that when we had, when we come to the meetings. This was before I was on the council, but I came to the meetings. Well, at least he advised the council. Yeah, he 
did come to the meeting. Waste, yeah. Waste all that money to do that. Yeah. Anyway, that's just the way we want to get emails. Okay, moving on. In the long run, it probably looks better for the property down there with the cement versus the mud. And I guess we'll have to deal with it right now. Is he going to concrete the rest of that? There's some more cement going in on there that was approved by DOT. There's nowhere to put a sign up. Yeah. Don't we're, make any. Well, so it would still be out. a way of putting a sign up where all the potholes are. Yeah, along one, along 71. He's expanding that driveway. I, it'll be. Yeah, I don't think you. We can ask the DOT to look into it, but it's kind of our. The only thing really they can put in there is a do not enter, and then. And then you know Raleigh's I mean, going to scream because you right. tell people not to enter his parking right. lot. That's so. basically the only signage they can, that they have that they can put up there. I can visit with them about it if you want me to, but yeah. But is there quite a bit of that? I've seen it several times. If okay, they want to get there. around the semi, Jerry, they just go right through there. If but cars the in a hurry. See, that's illegal, period. Yeah, it is. Right. Yeah. Any time you go through, you've got to stop. Even though there's not a stop time you're going on there, you're supposed to. So that's probably a criminal law. That fall, yeah, that falls under another sheriff issue. <coughs> but then, like I said, they can sit there and nobody does. But then the next day, right. when there's 50 of them. The same way as when they sit on the south side of town, nobody's speeding. <laughs> when they're not there, they are. Yeah. 